Hi, Stargazers. Arik here. And believe it or not, we are in fiscal week one of 2022. So that means that we are beginning the new year at the end of the week. So these are the Zodiac hacks for December 26th until January 1st, 2022. So while the transits and horoscopes indicate the general astrological weather, it is in no way indicating positive or negative influences upon your chart. If you want personalized information, you'll need to book a reading. So this is the last week of 2021, and there's amazing things ahead of us for 2022. There is an in-depth, month-by-month, sign-by-sign forecast for 2022 on Zodiac Hacks. Um, more information is coming, so you definitely want to stay tuned for that. But we have to get through this last week. We really have to wrap it up with uh, the best that we can. So the the consciousness of the week, of course, um, is about Capricorn energy. We are still in Capricorn. But we have some really interesting things going on as well because the planet Jupiter will enter into Pisces and the sun is going to make an interesting aspect to the planet Uranus. So this is... Uh, about dissolving our expectations and kind of moving into this energy of humility. So it says here from an excerpt from the Capricorn chapter from Zodiac Hacks, it says, Dissolving our expectations, our attachments, is not a process where we arrogantly let go of something to appear independent, rich, abundant, self-sufficient, or better off. Rather, it is a process of attaining a higher state of consciousness so that we can practice humility. So, dissolving our expectations and dissolving our attachments allows us to achieve a higher state of consciousness. And from that higher state of consciousness, we can move with humility and we can be of better service to ourselves and to the world. So that's the energy of the week. The cause, And looking at the chart in depth, we see that the cosmic signature of the week is a controlled balance, finding the perfect balance between uh, left and right, hot and cold, finding that perfect balance between too much and too little. And the hack of the week is working humbly within the details in the background. So it's finding the things that you're not aware of and finding the details there and then working with them. And the challenge of the week is anger. There, there could be a lot of anger that's coming up for a lot of us that we have to look at. Angry about old things that we need to heal, particularly about our childhood, which I will get into in a second. By the way, I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. And as we're moving into the, the new year, let's see what we can do. Now, again, that new year begins at the end of the week, right within the new moon window. So we have the new moon and the new year starting at the same time, which is amazing. I have a uh, new moon live workshop that I'm offering that's going to help us increase the volume of our intuition. And of course, that's going to last throughout the entire year. So as we endure, you can sign up on ZodiacHacks.com or on any of the social media pages. As we endure through winter into the new year, we download all the motivation and inspiration that we need to overcome our ego patterns and our agendas, blocking our growth and constant harmony with our environment. So it's so important that we are in harmony with our environment because then we're in harmony with the people around us. We're in harmony with the the animals and the elements and everything. And this just brings health and happiness and wealth and all kinds of amazing things. So that's such an important, such an amazing opportunity that we have to be in harmony it it's it's it sounds great but it's really it means so much more than um than it says harmony with the planets harmony with the 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 support that's coming toward us if we're not receiving it then how can we at all use it and we need to be in harmony in order to recognize it so that cosmic energy is available um, is available for download so that we can specifically reprogram our childhood, which is unfortunately a source of our pain, suffering, and patterns later on in life. So this week we can reprogram and heal our childhood 
and also over the, the, the several weeks that are ahead of us that make up that winter season so that we can be free to create the life we envision because that childlike energy, when it's being healed, it has a lot of creative energy. So whatever the life we dream of or we wish or we envision can be created once we're in that beautiful state of mind. So as we approach the new year, 2022, uh, and again, sign up to be notified by the sign-by-sign, month-by-month forecast, we have to be mindful of the negative energies that crave uh, food, you know, that crave the, the, or put it this way, the, the negative patterns that crave energy. So for example, when we want to disconnect from limiting uh, patterns or programs, uh, our ego gets notified and it makes it harder for us or it makes it more difficult, right, uh, f- for us to let go of old ways. Our addictions get stronger, our codependency becomes more rationalized, um, and life just becomes more difficult until we eventually quit. But this week we are offered the ambition to pursue through the details of darkness so that we can bring light into our lives and thereby the world. The story of achieving freedom from this self-made prism, prison <laughs> isn't anything new. Every human who has lived has been faced with the choice to either stay enslaved to ego or to become liberated, whether they were aware of it or not. So it's the story of mankind. Well, actually, it's it, the prequel because life really takes off into a story, right? Once we control the ego and limit its control over us. So therefore, the support of our predecessors, um, it you know it is bestowed, right, upon each and every one of us when when we want, right, when we have the desire to receive it. So it's hard to hear our intuition, right? This is how we hear our ancestors and our predecessors in the wave of devices, but it's still there, even surrounded by so much noise. So we are tasked we are tasked with the extra chore of listening to our inner voice over the ego and the noise around us. Amazing, huh? So sometimes we have to go through our fate so that we can reconnect to the divine source and bring the energy of our life into our lives instead of the ego, right? The ego alone. So whatever enslaves you or like or your ego, whether it's anger, greed, competition, jealousy, addiction, hatred, sex, money, your parents, wanting to be loved, food, fame, etc. This is the week that we can dump it out before the very lucky new year of 2022. So once again, stay tuned for that forecast and definitely sign up for that new year new moon ritual where you can listen to your intuition throughout the entire year. Thank you guys all so much. And please share with anyone you think that needs to hear this in your reality. Until next time, and also have a very happy new year. My name is Arik for Zodiac Hacks. Goodbye.